Go past these lights, then at the next set, turn right. She's always interrupting me. So we're on our way to a, um, a job where uh, my uh, cousin's daughter works for uh, an estate agent in Hove. And a tenant has moved out of a property that the landlord, the landlord lives in America. But tenants move out of a property uh, and they haven't left any keys. They haven't dropped any keys back. Um, so we, we're going to go there, go and get, uh, gain entry um, and fit a new lock. Now I have been past there briefly, literally just to see what sort of lock was needed and it's a, it's a Euro cylinder. So um, I think I'm going to try and give this one a bump. I don't really use bumping that much, but I, get, I suppose when I have, I've, it's, you know, it's been quite successful. So I'm going to try and bump this one open um, and we'll see how we go. If not, we'll, uh, we'll get the um, EPG on it, but let's see how we get on. Taking a bit of a detour, I um, the job that I'm going to literally backs onto uh, my lockup. And yesterday I did some van van locks for my brother actually. And um, yeah, I've only got a. I'll show you. I can't, I can't, I've only got a small Citroen, Citroen Belingo. So whenever I do van locks, uh, it literally takes up all the space in the middle of my van. Um, so I thought before I go there, it's a good opportunity for me to get it all out. I'll show you this. Look, you can see, there's no way I'm working out of that. My, oh, my compressor's falling over. It's a nightmare, absolute nightmare. I need a bigger van, really. So we'll get this emptied out, and then we'll, uh, we'll get to the job. Oh, look at that! So much better. I can actually work out a bit now, especially because these these two boxes here. This one's got my gear boxes in for new PVC doors. That one there's got all my cylinders and handles and stuff like that, so yeah, I needed a bit of space just to be able to um, get some tools really and get to stuff I need. So, right, we are on the way to the job now. Here we are. <clears throat> right, I might get asked to move. I've parked in a... It's kind of garbage, but there's no way to park on the street really. Uh, uh, get the bag out. What I do, I don't know what everyone else does. We'll see if everyone else works differently. But um, oh, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> that goes up there. That's, uh, so this here is my um, my usual kind of uh, lock fitting bag. But this rucksack is my, my my lockout bag. That's got my. Um, all my bump keys and my EPG and all that sort of stuff. Um, just so that in an emergency, I've, I've got it to hand quickly and I'll just literally get it on my back and I'll jump down this wall here, get it on my back and uh, yeah, kind of just, just grab it quick. Um, I was just gonna see, oh, it's a bit overgrown there. What we've got going on. Um, didn't come down this path over when I shot past the other day. Have a look. Right. Oh, it's a Yale one star. There we go. Now I know these bump because I've bumped them before, so I'll probably go down that route and see how we got on. Okay, so I couldn't get in with the bump key. <laughs> This is all my bunk keys so I couldn't get all that. I actually use the EPG in the end, my dyno, dino, whatever you call it. I've got them up there. So it should just be a case of spinning this bad boy around, it's gonna get stuck there. And we're in. Okay. It took a bit longer than um, yeah, a bit longer than I'd hoped. To be fair, I thought it was gonna bump, so I I persisted with the bumping for about 20 minutes, but it just weren't having it. Uh, I gave it a go with the EPG. I always find these a little bit difficult to to get with the EPG, but um, yeah, kind of did it with that for about 10 minutes, didn't go. I gave it another go bumping for five minutes and then just got it again with the EPG. So went into anti-pick, so I had to, uh, to hand-pick it out of the anti-pick, but um, we got it. So let's get this changed over now. 
standard but um, the, uh, the estate agents aren't fussed about that so they just want uh, a new cylinder so we'll put the very same 44 this and that's all and we'll get this one mm. so with these verses for those of you who don't know they're anti-snap they're not British standard, but they're anti-snap, that's all it's nice. What I tend to do now is I'll put this in the front of my van and uh, let it go up there with them. And that just reminds me that I need to order. That's what I've used today, so I'll uh, place them. Right, so we're just going to put this cylinder in there. Uh, what I always do as well, I've got, I've got these little key tags, these plastic key tags. Um, so I've, I've got a bunch, these these Versa cylinders come with five keys, so stick one on there, you never know, someone might have it on their key ring one day, get locked out and think, no, the person's a cool. Uh, with these, you've got the anti-snap on that side there, so that goes to the outside. Self-explanatory, really. Well, there's, there's no customers around. Um, you know, if that was somebody being locked out, I probably spent uh, maybe 40 minutes trying to get in um, because I don't, you know, I don't like drilling. Um, even when I can, you know, there's no need, no need for me to put that much effort in to get to get get in the property without drilling the lock. But I just don't like, I just don't like doing it. And it gives you a you know, it gives you a bit of time to practice as well. Um, there we go. So, oops, I'll show you that. So it's nice and flush both sides, how it should be. And that's the new cylinder, five keys. Drop down, all that's left for me to do now is to drop these keys to the estate agent and then we're done. Well, there we go. A um, <laughs> pain in the arse. The AL One Star, like I say, they can be a ball ache to. Um, they can be a ball ache to actually use the EPG on, um, but often they do bump. I mean, you know, like I say, I don't bump. I don't use my bump keys that often, and probably not often enough because um, they are really good. But uh, yeah, they're normally a right pain in the ass to actually um, to use the EPG on. But we got it. You know, it might have been there for, I don't know, what it was now, 30, 40 minutes, something like that. But when you've got time like that, it's uh, good to have a little, good to have a little play. Um, yeah, one thing I didn't mean, uh, did mean to say is that uh, I was careful when I, when I actually, um, after I'd picked it, so I had to, I had to hand pick it out of anti-pick and then the cylinder would turn. You only want to turn it enough so that the door then open. If 
you go all the way back round, I would have had to have picked it again um, to get the cylinder out. So I made sure that I, I sort of only picked it enough, or only turned the core enough so that the door would open and then I could turn it to where I needed to to get the cylinder out. But yeah, I wouldn't want to be picking that twice just to get the cylinder. I probably would have drilled it then to be fair or snapped it. But uh, there you go. Right, cheers guys and um, if you if you do like the video then please uh, do like it and um, give me a thumbs up put any nice comments down below and uh, yeah remember to subscribe and, and hit the notification bell because uh, you know I might do a video that might help you one day but uh, yeah thanks for watching <laughs>